Um, different entry. Alrighty, I guess. Uh, I have some, um, how do I want to word this? I have some speculation. Um, and uh, I guess everything I say in this video is not confirmed until the park makes an official announcement. Um, but I strongly believe that these are some of the things the park will do in, uh, in a way to get open for July 1st. Um, so I'm going to go over a few of the things that I think that's going to happen. So again, everything in this video is not certain, and certain until the park makes an actual announcement themselves. But starting right off, I think Canada's Wonderland is going to be open from 9 a.m. until midnight every day. Um, and that being said, that would mean they're going to go into a two-day part system. So you'll reserve for the first day part, which will be... I have no idea how to split. It'll be like 9 a.m. till 4 p.m. or something. And then 4 p.m. to midnight would be the second. So if that is going to happen, the 9 a.m. to midnight, that is the system that they're probably going with. So a uh, two-day part system. Maybe they'll close for 30 minutes or an hour in between. Who knows? Um, and um, I'm assuming that they're going to start off with a 10,000 um, attendance limit. So I, their capacity will probably be set at 10,000, which I believe is around 15% of their normal capacity. And then again, with each stage, that'll obviously increase. Um, and they'll be going with a reservation style system, obviously, for those two day parts. Um, there is no exact date announced by Canada's Wonderland yet, but it is gonna be between July 1st and July 15th, in my honest opinion, that they'll be aiming to open. Based off of our drone footage, maintenance is in the park, working really hard. Um, the new ride is being built extremely quickly, and um, uh, other people have returned to work getting the restrooms um, and other aspects of the business ready, so including restaurants and games. So that's a good sign. Uh, I'm going to assume about half of the restaurants will only be open. Um, this is because they'll have to implement cashless payment options um, and plexiglass. So you're not going to want to do that at all your restaurants. You're going to pick your major restaurants and implement stuff like that. The buffet is obviously not going to be open. Those are illegal right now um, in Ontario. I don't use the word. I think, yeah, they're illegal. We'll just use that word. They're illegal. So the buffet obviously won't be returning. They'll probably implement some sort of like grab and go um, system for those types of restaurants. And they're going to be under strict, serious health guidelines, obviously. But we also know that Cedar Fair is going to take everything extremely seriously. Uh, it's a really good company, and again, as I always say in my, all my videos, I trust Cedar Fair with my life. They are actually really good at what they do, and Wonderland has one of the safest track records in the world for uh, theme parks and amusement parks and roller coasters and rides. So definitely trust them with my life. Um, but that being said, um, they will have thermal scanning with temperature is my assumption. I'm going to assume they're going to have thermal scanning, uh, scanning and the Splashworks attraction looks like it is completely halted. So I have a feeling Splashworks will not open for the 2020 season. That is, again, a serious, just a prediction, um, and nothing is official until Wonderland actually makes a statement. But with the attraction in Splashworks completely halting and no action there, but action all around the other park, including the new ride, I'm assuming that is going to turn into a 2021 edition with another flat ride, if we even get a flat ride in 2021. Um, but yeah, I definitely think Splashworks is most likely not going to open. They're getting the dry park ready. They make most of their revenue in the dry park. Splashworks makes them hardly any revenue. Um, and their goal is to just get as many people um, into the park in a safe way. The 10,000 limit to start. Again, so hopefully this gave you an idea of what's going to happen. So again, 9 a.m. to midnight is what I'm assuming is going to happen with a two-day park. Um, system reservations as well, 10,000 capacity, half the restaurants open, um, and uh, they'll be closing restrooms down. I don't know how frequently, but for sanitation purposes, for a spray. Um, and I assume they'll be doing the same thing for rides after each cycle or ever so many cycles, and then social distancing with stickers and all that. And I'd expect um, the front gate system with thermal scanning and uh, temperature scanning to be a little different than we're used to as well. Um, that being said, hopefully this video gave you a, um, a good idea of what's going to happen. Um, and just so you know, it is most likely that Canada's Wonderland will be opening this year. Again, this is my opinion and my prediction, but I'm very confident in my opinion and prediction in this video. 
Um, and I'm very confident that everything that I just said is probably going to happen. So again, July 1st to July 15th is probably when Canada's Wonderland is going to open. Um, and yeah, you should see workers starting to go back to work and getting trained in the next couple of weeks. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited. Hopefully this video uh, gave you a little boost during this tough time. Hopefully anyone that works for the park is starting to get excited. And uh, anyone who owns a season pass or is looking for something to do, we're all bored. Um, it's definitely going to happen. I have full confidence that the park is going to open um, in the next month and a bit. So thank you so much for watching. Comment down below um, any questions you may have, and I'll try and answer them to the best of my ability. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't. Um, and stay safe and keep yourself occupied. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good one. Bye.